January 2007, Brazilian tax administration instated the public digital bookkeeping system SPED to be used by all corporations operating within Brazilian borders. SPED is a web-based system that consolidates the receipt, validation, storage and authentication of corporate, commercial and tax records and documents. SPED comprises three sub-projects – Accounting SPED, Tax SPED and the Electronic Tax Invoice NFE. The aim of the system is to integrate the action of the tax authorities on the federal, state, state federal district and municipal tax levels by sharing accounting and tax information, thus expediting the identification of tax offenses. Taxpayers benefit in several ways, including less paperwork, rationalization and simplification of tax obligations, the elimination of tax audits, expedition of procedures controlled by the tax administration, and an enhanced competitive edge with a decrease in tax evasion. Faro Corporation with Ramo Digital Systems offers SAP Business One solutions that can help your organization easily and efficiently meet the procedures imposed by SPED. Well, I have here SAP in English. The, this version is 8.81, patch level 10. Okay. And uh, and here I have one one of the possible add-ons that we can use in Brazil. Unfortunately, it, it, it's in Portuguese. Is this add-on is for electronic files that we have to send to the government. In Brazil, we call this SPED, S-P-E-D. S-P-E-D, okay. Yeah. And uh, currently in Brazil, we have two types of SPED, two, two types of uh, S-P-E-D. One type is, a, is an accounting SPED. In this SPED, we have to send uh, all the GL transactions, GL balances. So it's related to the accounting model, and the other the other one is la, is a fiscal fiscal spread. In the fiscal spread, we have to send a lot of information, uh, AP invoices, AR invoices, uh, items, customers. So these two are the main the main obligations now that we have to send to the to the government. There is another one called uh, SPED also, but for another type of tax, which is PIS and COFINS. I'm not sure if you heard about this type of tax, PIS and COFINS. It's another type of SPED. Basically, all these obligations we have to send a layout to, to the government in a specific format. The difference is only the... the, the Layout type, the the source where we have to to pick the information, and that's all. So this is uh, electronic files that we have to send to the government. Uh, let me try to explain a little bit about localization. It's it's not an easy job to, to talk about localization because because we have many many cases, many rules, many exceptions. But I will try to give you a brief uh, view of how it works in the in SAP okay, okay. well uh, basically I will show you uh, how how it works in the AR invoice or AP invoice okay okay uh, let me open here the screen okay uh, okay well we have in SAP uh, a function called tax determination. What is this function, tax determination? It's how Business One find out the the right tax code to the AR invoice or the or to the AP invoice. So let, let me show you first how how a user input an invoice in SAP. Uh, we have to choose the customer. Okay, I choose the customer here. Mm -hmm. then, 
then I choose the item. Okay. okay. I have quantity price. But with the customer and the item is not enough to find out which tax code will be determined. If you see the tax code field here, it's empty now. So how the system will find out the right tax code for this operation? It depends on a third information called usage. Uh, usage, uh, it's like uh, operation type. So the idea here is, uh, what is this operation type? Is a sale, uh, is a sale to a, a consumer, it's a sale to a resale company, uh, I'm sending material to, to demonstration, uh, I'm sending material to benefiting, uh, and that and, and and let me see other other cases. Ah, okay, it's a tax complementary invoice. So depending on the type of the operation, which in SAP is called usage, the system will determine the tax code. 